Patience of our hearts and minds be acceptable to you, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. I bet if I asked anyone here to tell me details of this story, you'd be able to. This past week I looked at this story over and over again and wondered, how can you say anything new about a story that everybody seems to know? I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. See, this is a story of Jesus being born, because it was happened when Augustus was the emperor and Quirinius was governor, and they called people to go to their own hometowns. The interesting part of that, though, is there's no other historical evidence that this census ever took place. But yet we're told here in the second chapter of Luke that when Emperor Augustus was, was emperor and Quirinius was governor of Syria, that this had to happen. Because it gives us a date for when Jesus was born. And we think we know that they went and they stayed in this, something that looked like this. And the shepherds were right there outside the, the, the manger with them, right? All the animals were quiet. There was no noise, kind of like right now. How many of you have ever been in a barn? <laughs> Is it quiet in a barn? No. Not even if the animals aren't making any noise. It's still not quiet in the barn. Right? So if this is what happened, it's not very quiet. And we expect the, the shepherds to be right outside. And this shining star comes down and it shines on them. And then they, they run inside the barn and look at Jesus. Right? What did you hear when I read the thing? It said, after the angels left them and went back up into heaven, the shepherds looked at each other and said, Let us go now to Bethlehem. They were, out, they were out on the hillside, or they were farther away. They weren't anywhere close to the city, because they, they had their flocks with them. They weren't close at all. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. This word, good news. Good news. What is the good news Tonight. What is the good news tonight? Oh. <laughs> Bad news if Pastor Jerry breaks the manger, see? <laughs> this is the good news tonight. That God loved each and every one of you so much, irregardless of whether or not you deserve it. Irregardless of whether or not you deserve it, irregardless of whether or not your past shows that you should get it, irregardless of the actions that you've done earlier this day show that you should even get it. God loved you so much that He sent His only Son to be made flesh and to be born of a virgin and to live as one of us so that He could understand the daily struggles that we go through, so that He could understand how hard it is to actually follow the way that he asks us to. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. This word good news is where we get our word evangelism from. This word good news is where we get one of the names for what we're going to take here in just a little bit from. Eucharisto. <coughs> comes from that. The actual word for good news in the Greek is euangelion. And it's you means good and angelos. What is angelos? What does it sound like? Angel. Good. We know the word is angel. Good messenger or good news. An angel is someone who brings a message. And this term, 
Good news was something that was used in the, in the time period when Jesus was born, not by, not by religious people, but by the Romans and by government officials, because this good news was always announced when the, when the son of an emperor was born, or when the son of a king was born. We bring you good news that your next ruler has come. And it's not by happenstance that, that the author of Luke uses this word. When these angels appeared to these lowly shepherds, the people that you wouldn't want to be your witness at a trial in a field, and he says to them, I'm giving you good news. And then they said to each other, let's go and see it. And what happened? These lowly shepherds, these people that would never be used as a witness in a court, come into this gathering of Mary and Joseph with their new baby boy and whoever else is there. And they tell them what had happened. And when they had made known what they had been told about this child, all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. All who heard it were amazed. At least two of those people had known about what was supposed to happen this night for at least nine months. Why is it that Mary and Joseph are amazed? You see, that right there is also, to me, good news. Because as one who struggles to do what God calls us to do, as one who struggles to be the person who God has called him to be. With one who struggles with understanding how God could come into a place like this and call ordinary people like us and love us enough to give his son that he would come here and live as one of us and die for each and every one of us. To hear that Mary and Joseph didn't understand it and that they were awed at what they had heard gives me hope. And I hope it gives you hope. Because you see, even when we understand or we think we know what God is calling us to, sometimes those things change. And God breaks in in a new and, and an ordinary way and shows us his love that will never be cast aside. A love that can never be thrown away. A love that you can never do anything to not still have. Because this night, God became flesh and decided to dwell with us and give us good news so that we could be messengers and take that message to all of the world. So on this night, this most holy of nights, remember that God went to the shepherds and gave them an angel to give them the best news that anyone could ever heard. And when they delivered that message to Mary and Joseph, Mary and Joseph were awed and in wonder about what was happening. But Mary and Joseph still went out into the world and heralded the birth of their son, just as God calls you to. The best gift you can ever get is this baby born in an angel. The best gift that any of us could ever get is this baby born in an angel. And God calls you to go into the world and share that with everyone. That on this night, Jesus Christ is born. Because you are sent to bring good news and great joy for all the people. For to us this day is born in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord.